In early September, Russia received the first batch of 200 FAF 360 missiles from Iran to step up the bombing of Ukraine. However, as Forbes writes, these deliveries could turn against Russia itself as they could lead to serious changes in the strike campaign in Ukraine. There is a high probability that the FAF 360 deal will backfire on Russia. This could be the last straw for Ukraine's allies, who have so far prevented the Ukrainians from firing their best American and European ammunition at targets in Russia. With the appearance of Iranian missiles in Russia, there are signs that the situation may change. The publication writes, The FAF-360 is a satellite-guided ballistic missile that is carried on a 6x6 truck in two, three, four or six kits. Each missile weighs 1,700 pounds and has a range of 75 miles. The FAF 360's weight and range make it useful for use on the front lines or for bombing cities near the front. Ukrainian observer Alexander Kovalenko predicted that Russia will use these missiles to terrorize the border zone, particularly the Sumy and Kharkiv regions, while ruling out any critical impact on the Ukrainian rear or combat zone. All this suggests that the FAF 360 is not a miracle weapon. And if you consider that Russia launches an average of more than 300 missiles per month at Ukrainian cities, then the first 200 FAF 360s are too small a number to significantly change the trajectory of the war, especially considering that Ukrainian air defenses usually intercept a quarter of incoming missiles. Forbes believes the Russians may come to regret their alliance with the Iranians, however, as a Russian-Iranian missile alliance could be what finally convinces Western leaders to allow Ukraine to use ATACMS and British-made Storm Shadow cruise missiles against targets deep inside Russia. The US Secretary of State Antony Blinken acknowledged that the arrival of the FAF 360 at least justifies another conversation about restrictions, and he promised to be receptive to the arguments of the Ukrainians. Iran and Russia have signed a contract to deliver hundreds of missiles by the end of 2023, the U.S. Treasury Department said in a statement. Russian troops trained to use the missiles over the summer. Russia received the first batch of missiles earlier this month. As noted by expert Alexander Musienko, it is difficult to shoot down Iranian missiles with air defense systems. However, they can be fought in another way by destroying storage depots and launchers. Three of Europe's most influential countries, Britain, Germany and France, have issued a joint statement regarding the supply of Iranian missiles to Russia. They called the events a direct threat to European security. The statement was published including on the official website of the German Foreign Ministry. The transfer of missiles is an escalation on the part of both Iran and Russia. It also represents a direct threat to European security, the three countries said in a joint statement. They urgently suspended bilateral air traffic agreements with Iran and announced new sanctions against individuals and organizations linked to Iran's missile program and the transfer of FAF 360 to Russia. Lithuanian Interior Minister Agne Bilotait has announced that a nationwide mass evacuation plan will be developed by early October. Lithuanian public broadcaster LRT reported this, citing Bilotite. Bilotite believes that her country should now have a nationwide evacuation plan and be ready to implement it. Each local authority has its own evacuation plan, but obviously we must have a plan of a national scale and be ready to implement it, she said. The minister emphasized that the security of the population has become a priority due to cyber attacks and that civilian protection is now more important than ever. The war against Ukraine rages on. The countries of our region are subject to hybrid and disinformation attacks and sabotage is our new reality. It is important to note that we are at the forefront, so today civilian protection has become a priority, the official explained. She emphasized that strengthening civil protection at the national level alone is insufficient, leading to a decision to collaborate with other Baltic states. Additionally, the countries plan to seek funding from the European Union. We need to coordinate our efforts at the regional and European level. It is costly, but it is important to combine our capabilities and get support from the EU. We are calling for a risk assessment to better understand the threats and strengthen public protection measures, the minister said. Recall Russian drones have begun to crash on NATO territory. Lithuanian Foreign Minister Gabrielos Landsbergis believes that Russian drones have begun to crash on NATO territory due to the inaction of member states. 
nothing should be landing on Ukraine or Latvia or anywhere on NATO territory, but this is the new reality our inaction has allowed to emerge. He added that Lithuania would, of course, be supporting a strong allied response. Recall the Romanian Ministry of Foreign Affairs has protested the violation of the country's airspace by a Russian drone on the 8th of September. The Romanian Foreign Ministry expressed a strong protest against another violation of airspace that could have occurred during the Russian drone attack against Ukraine. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs urges to stop the repeated attacks on the Ukrainian population and civilian infrastructure, as well as the irresponsible escalation of the security situation by the Russian Federation, in particular on the border between Romania and Ukraine, it added. Latvia also stated that it had found a crashed Russian military drone in the east of the country and was conducting an investigation. Earlier, the German government developed a new contingency plan in the event of war amid the threat from Russia.